All right, let's roll this roulette again and see what I play this time. Uh, I should remember to remove uh, one step from Eden from that, at least until it officially comes out. Uh, has been heroes? Huh. We could do some has been heroes. Do I start over? Yeah, let's start over. I'm also going to remove this from, um, I'm going to remove one step for Eden from the roguelike roulette. Okay, this will be interesting. Yeah, that's a good game. And that should be perfect on my hand, too. Uh, let's see. I should see if I can actually get this, uh... This desk to rise at some point. So that'd be good. Anyway, is it? No, it's not installed yet. But yeah, I actually have never played the Steam version of this. I played the, uh... I played the Switch version uh, fairly... Not compulsively, but that's where I put all my time. And then they gave me the PC version. I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. But let's start over. Because I'd rather play this on, on PC anyway. Let's see. That's good. But we should turn this down a little bit. There we go. This is a story of courage and wisdom. Faith and loyalty. The band of epic heroes had completed many quests for their king. They had defeated the evil witch and rescued the most beautiful princess in the whole wide kingdom. They had recaptured the royal diamond mines from giant spiders and their queen mother. They had freed the people of the five kingdoms by slaying the terrifying great white dragon. But even legends grow old, and stories fade. The kingdom lived in prosperity for many years, and one hero after another disappeared. But then, after years of peace, they were summoned to court once more. The has-been heroes would have one final quest, the most epic of them all to take the twin princesses to school. This is the story of the has-been heroes. So, this is one of those roguelikes that I love. And I'm always super sad because nobody else seemed to love this, love this game nearly as much as I did. Uh, when it came out. It is such a... It is such a charming concept. Such a wonderful set of mechanics. And... Honestly, I'm just a big fan of anything that uh, Frozen Bite makes. I should, at some point, sit down and play through the entirety of... Oh, right. The voice acting is tied to sound effect volume. That freaking sucks. Because that means there's more or less nothing I can do about it. Can I change this to uh, Maximized Window? There we go. That, that'll be better. Anything else? The answer is probably not. Okay. Uh, should be good to go. Anyway, so this is a... I don't even know how I, I should describe this game, but it, it's it's just super good. You're effectively setting up combos with three different characters, beating through enemies' defenses, stunlocking them, and then smashing them to pieces with cool spells. And it's pretty casual. It's not actually that hard. It's, it's more about how you build it and how you use your stuff than, like, Twitch reflexes, though it does get stressful. The kingdom had lived in prosperity and safety, so it had been many long years since the king had last called upon his band of epic heroes. But now, the roads were growing restless again. Strange creatures roamed the lands, and stories of wild monsters spread like wildfire. The king sent out a call for his trusted heroes once more. A quest was about to begin.
I've grown up in the stories of these heroes and their epic adventures. At last, I have a chance to meet them in person. If I hurry on the crossroads, I might catch up to them. Okay, so we want to do right stick to select and right bumper to go up. Cool. Okay, so X to select rogue, B to attack. And then left bumper to turn off pause. Wait for it to recharge, and then smack O again. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, the tutorial on this game, if I remember, it was kind of rough. Uh, that... Eh, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I get... You know what? The tutorial I played was actually completely different. Well, let's see. Because the tutorial I played... When I was, uh... When I, like, first got introduced to this game was actually at PAX, uh, South. Like, years ago. Was that 20... 2017, I think? Was it 2017? I think so. Uh, but they'd more or less had this, like, really difficult, like, infinite play mode that just kicks everybody's, like, butts in. It was rough. I really enjoyed it, personally, but, uh, I remember, like, watching some other people get fed up with it. Which is a shame, because, like, it's super good. I'm gonna get smacked here. Nope. Okay, so how do I use... Okay, turn on the pause. There we go. Act while they're stunned with melee. Unfortunately, I waited too long. No. Never mind, I didn't wait too long. Wow, they really slowed down so I could get that. That works for me. A double strike, the most OP spell in the game. Yeah, especially if you start, like, pentacasting it. The young rogue decided to rest at the crossroads, hoping the heroes might pass her by. In the meantime, other travelers were on their way towards the crossroads as well. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember this tutorial. I feel like this is a different one than the one I played. Okay, so we want to attack with... Oops. Right, I have to select the... There we go. Oh! <laughs> that actually worked. Right. Oh. I screwed that one up, but that's fine. It won't take too long. We. Unfortunately, this guy does barely any damage, which sucks a little bit. Because more or less, we're just going to be ch uh, juggling that skeleton back, but that's okay. The entire kind of the the meat of this game is once you have all three characters and a bunch of abilities to make them tick. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, I think we're going to end up getting the weird Imhotep. Dude, man. No, we didn't. Okay, I'm slowly remembering how the controls work. This game looks... Interestingly enough, I think it actually looks considerably nicer on the Switch. I'm not really sure why. Okay, are we, are we good? Fast forward. Uh, uh, oh, right. I forgot, they don't auto-progress to the next zone unless I actually tell them to. Excuse me, venerable elders. Have you seen the Band of Kings epic heroes to hear about? <laughs> oh, we have, youngster. Oh, good. Where are they? You're looking at them. What? No, this can't be. You're just two people. And you're old. Our band of heroes fell apart years ago. The two of us are the only ones left. What do you want with us? I heard great stories about your heroic uh, adventures while growing up. When the king called for you, I figured at last I have the chance to meet you in person. Do you want to come meet the king with us? Me? Are you sure? Why not? All right. The young rogue was quite happy to join the band of heroes, so they set off to meet the king. Uh, let's see, this is on the Switch? Yep. And, like I said, I think it looks best on the Switch. It doesn't have the, like, weird colored icons and stuff. Ah. Uh, heroes, proceed. Yeah, I don't remember this. I'm confused. Oh. 
Greetings, heroes. Heroes, I'm glad to see you're still alive. Her Majesty, how may we serve? The princesses need to go away to school, but the road to the academy is full of threats and danger. Would the three of you do us the honor of escorting their highnesses and keeping them safe? Of course, Your Majesty, but sire, there's just two of us. I count three heroes before me, so three heroes will take on this quest. Of course, sire, of course. Be well, ladies, and the best journey, b best of journey to you. Yes, father. Oh. The two princesses joined the party, and soon all five of them were merrily on their way towards the academy. But none of them were truly aware of the dangers that lay waiting. <laughs> The Circle of Crystals is complete and the Vortex is opening. It's time to conquer the world. Rise, do my bidding. Gather more souls. Enemy is so near the castle, it's bad, right? We might have to rouse up the old band together. Hoping they're not all retired to sunny beaches. Haven't heard from them in a long while. Far too long, most suspicious. First things first, we have more urgent matters to attend to. Like these boneheads. Charge! <laughs> well, and what of the heroes and their quest? Well, help comes in many forms. Welcome! The heroes found themselves summoned by the gatekeeper who wished to warn and help them. A great ghoul had appeared and summoned monsters into the kingdom. He had stolen the souls of living creatures and desecrated them to create his army of evil. The quest would take the band of heroes through every imaginable region. The gatekeeper asked them to retrieve any souls they might find. For this purpose, they received magical gifts. Soul Orbs. The audience ended, and the heroes returned to the land of the living. I think we were just bequeathed St. Peter's balls. Is it St. Peter's? I think it is. Alright. Time to go! Welcome to the snowy forest. Okay. So if you've never caught me playing this game before, I usually try and maximize how much I even, uh, how much time I even spend on these maps. Uh, hmm. As long as you don't pass over a path you've never been on before, you can go as much as you want. And if you do, you have to have a candle. So I'm going to just try and go around this way. Ooh, locksmith. That's convenient. Unfortunately, I think I'm pretty poor. Let's see. Left stick to toggle between items. I think... I want to say that's the skeleton key. Master key. Okay, open lock chest for free. So that's actually really helpful. Did cost me most of my money, but that's, that's fine. Now, do I have any? 200 gold. Well... I ain't got 200 gold. I don't have enough candles to come back either, but that's okay. Okay, so basic things about the characters in this game. Uh, let's see, the, the knight with the big sword is by far the strongest character. He does way more damage than anybody else. And let's see, how do I use... Okay, that's, that's how I use these. So how do I want to do this? Right bumper, probably herself. Okay, we've wrecked him. So yeah, the guy with the big sword does the most amount of damage, unless you unless you start. Uh... Let's see. Unless you start scumming with like the. Uh... Oh right, 
I have to do this. Curse of Frost. Next time target's attacked, it's frozen for a couple of seconds. We also have a hot potato, which does some things and removes stamina. Uh, I'll get used to this. The controls are weird fiddly. Not bad. Just, like, takes some getting used to. There we go. Uh, but, yeah, the general goal is to actually... I wonder if I should actually turn down the, uh, the music. It's kind of loud. Sound effects are... No, 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 no. Sound effects are kind of loud, too, but they're not so bad. Hot potato. Also, thing to note, every time you hurt an enemy, uh, after taking off its stamina, uh, properly and, like, stunning it, their stamina permanently goes down by one. Unless they're a boss and they have other... They, uh, they have other effects. That, uh... That, you know, might replenish it. That makes sense. So that guy, for example, I just hit, didn't do a whole lot of damage to him, but now he has no more stamina. So I can just hit him with whoever I want, and it'll just do damage. So I can just bully him into oblivion. I mean, this is fine. Man, it's gonna take me a while before I got that flow back. Because there were some sweet combos you can throw out in this game. Admittedly, it's also one of those where it's very dependent on, um... It's very dependent on what kind of gear you're rolling to. Gotta remember, I can set my characters on fire, and that can be fatal. Especially if I don't have a proper healer uh, along the way. So yeah, I could go back here, but it would end the run, so we don't want to do that. Okay. Treasure chest. Let's pop it open, and it is... I honestly don't remember what that does. It looks magic-ish. Okay, faster spell recharge and spell damage by 15%. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. So now it's going to get a bit dicier. Send him back. Do we wait? Might as well have her just go bananas on this fellow. He's not on fire anymore. That's a good sign. Okay. And it's not perfect, but it works. Yeah, so I was kind of trying to talk about this, but obviously this game is the bane of my focus. Uh, I actually was watching one of the developers, like one of the people, obviously, that made the game. And I guess I probably didn't need to do that. Eh, no, that worked out well. Uh, but I, I was watching one of the, the like main devs for this work on the game. And holy crap. Like, if you ever saw me play this when I was like really knew what I was doing and really like had the combos down, you would have probably seen some like pretty sweet... Uh, Sweet setups here and there. Just gonna send that guy back for a bit. I more or less want to just kill all of these guys. Because they're getting a little close for comfort. Hit that guy. Wait a bit. Ah. Uh, that's not the right enemy, but that's okay. I don't even know who has the fastest hit. The other thing uh, you can do in this game is if you have a character that moves down an entire lane, you can bring them back. Uh, no. You should smack that guy back. He's losing some stamina, too. Poor old man is getting whacked. It sucks.
Okay, so for example, so if you notice he's past the one dude with the spear, if I actually move it so that he's on this aisle, he'll actually hit those guys. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna potato him. Okay. Yeah, it's not working the greatest for me, but it's fine-ish. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not very good at the uh, the back attacks. That that is one of those mechanics that I I never got very good good at using. Okay. And also, if you don't properly uh. If you don't properly take the stamina off, you'll still hit them with the last hit. It just doesn't do a whole lot of damage, uh, generally-ish. I'm trying to explain things, because I know a lot of people usually get kind of glassy-eyed when it comes to this game. Uh, and that was, like, the common complaint with it was just, like, nobody... It's too out there, mechanic-wise. Probably shouldn't have done that, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, let's hot potato this guy. Okay, we got him. I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. I gotta remember, the soul stones actually fill up, too. And I need to remember to actually use them. Okay, so we got a spell gambler and a stamina camp. Stamina camp would have been nice, but nah. Okay, so how much money do I have? I got some. 110 gold? I don't know what we're up to next. I could use a spell. But no. Not at that cost, because if we can get act if we can actually get some trinkets. Eh. No trinkets, but whatever. Let's see. I always loved how many interactions this game has. Back attacks, elemental combos, and what have you. Uh let's give it to him. I think we need him to attack faster. Faster melee recharge and melee damage by 10%. Yeah, so that's that's exactly the kind of thing we wanted to get him. Actually, no. We want her. Hit him. Smack him around. Okay, so hopefully hopefully with some of these these perks we should be able to commit some more grievous injuries upon my foes. Uh, let's see. But we will see. Uh, let's see. The other thing I can do... I'm gonna just hot potato that guy in the back. Fire damage is kind of fun, because it travels to other enemies. Uh, let's see. We actually want... him there. Okay. So if you actually hit... Uh, one uh, like a bunch of enemies in close proximity to to each other, you can just set them all on fire. And if you have enough fire spells, oh boy, you better believe that you just end up wiping everybody out. It's super good. Uh, let's see, move her in. But no, seeing as seeing as we're actually in the the period of the Steam Summer Sale, this actually would be one of those roguelikes that I would one hundred percent. Uh, I'd recommend to people looking to get into a, like a really interesting roguelike. It takes getting used to, but I've never heard anybody that like has played more than a couple hours of it say like, "Yeah, this game was kind of bad." It's always just like, "Oh yeah, this game was great," but like, "Oh god, the the learning curve takes some time." And if you ever wonder why I don't use my, like, the soul orbs that much, it's because I'm both stingy, and I, uh, I'm stingy and I don't like wasting resources that might save me later. Which usually ends up screwing me over mildly. But, that's just the way of things. No, that's not gonna hit anybody. I guess I'll just have her do that. Uh, 
Yeah, I've never been very good at the back attacks. Th those were always one of those mechanics that I wanted to get better at. But never was in a position. I was much more about portal scum than anything else. Portal scum gets juicy. Uh, let's see. He's healing people. Let's not. And say we never did. I'll just let him finish that off. Cause yeah, if I can if I can get by just by using my whoops. Eh, whatever, I'll be okay. If I can get by just using my basic uh, attack combos without Uh without using spells, then kind of all the better. Sort of. It's a little bit less aggressive. Uh, it's a little bit slower, I guess, would be the the right way to say it. Ah. Stupid immunity skeletons. Uh, would you kindly not? Honestly, let's just set him on fire. We just leave him right there. There we go. really... I have to have him there. Let's see. Might as well boost her up so she does a whole bunch of damage. Why am I doing the things that I'm currently doing? What I want to do is stun this guy. There we go. And yeah, I'm getting the controllers... Uh, I, I'm getting the controls back. It just took a little while. Okay, so there's actually nothing over there. Well, that's fine. So I could have actually done spell gambling. Well... Okay. Looks like I've got some weird metal hand. Weird metal hand! Thank glove. Extra max stamina. Oh. That's way less cool than I was hoping it would be. I wonder if anybody ever made any mods for this game. Probably not. Because this seems like the kind of game that you could actually absolutely have, like, modded items. Okay, so this guy's kind of rude. Because he likes to summon shadow clones. Lots of them. Let's see. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's doubly unfortunate. At least he keeps switching. One benefit is you can actually use back attacks on this guy. Uh, sort of. You know what? Hot potato. Main goal here is to take his stamina off anyway. There we go. And yeah, you can use back attacks on the on the shades. To take them out instead. Which is quite nice. Uh Okay. gonna go for the six hit combo. She doesn't do that much damage until you actually get some of the, uh, the really, like, hefty damage boosts, but that's okay. Uh. That's okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That is a lot. Uh oh. Double kill. There we go. 
That's a nice double kill. And you kindly deceased. Okay, there we go. He's going down. Now he's only got one. Uh, switch so we get the back attack. Hit him in the face. Take that stamina off, because I don't think he gets it back at all. Which means we should be able to just smack him around. Perfect. And we get another key for some reason. I don't really know... Need, yeah, no, if I need one. Is that a one leg skeleton? Maybe? I'm actually unsure. Welcome to the desolation. Okay, so how do we loop this one? Oh. I don't know if we do. I don't know if I can. Oh, this sucks. So, if we go up... If we go up, we get one, two, three, four, five. If we go loop, we get one, two, three, but it costs me a candle. Four, five. Honestly, I guess we're just going up. Okay, this reminds me of trying. Well, it should. It's made by the same people. Uh, I I would have actually really enjoyed it if they had gone with a uh, a kind of tongue in cheek. Uh, this is what the retired heroes of trying. Uh, ended up doing in the end. Sadly, it didn't work that way. Just gonna fling that guy back. I don't really have a whole lot that I can work with here. I almost didn't get that one. Let's see. Yeah, this is kind of close. Closer for comfort than I would like. Go for a double strike on this guy. Then freeze him? Eh, nope, he died anyway. Okay, so let's set some things up. Put her there, put him there. This seems like a really good spot for a hot potato. I don't know if fire ever actually travels well. Oh. I was supposed to set up a back attack there. Cause yeah, I can I can just keep uh, smacking these guys around with return hits, which is really satisfying. How have I never done this before? Oh. I guess that's kind of why. Let's see. Yeah, because the one problem is it does put you in, in kind of an awkward position where you can't just keep chaining it forever. Doesn't work that way. I mean, it kind of does, but... Not quite. Okay. How do you get the welcome to the chat room message now? I think Twitch has been doing weird, weird business today. Because uh, I've gotten that message like several times for whatever reason. Okay. So, this is six bucks on your Steam store right now. Really? Yeah, this game's on a really good sale right now. 70% down to six 
euros or six Canadian or six bucks on Steam. Yeah, I. It is. It. I. It truly is one of my favorite roguelikes. I. I forget to bring it up sometimes because it slips my mind. Uh, because it was not a particularly like beefy series, comparatively. Not that like that always influences my decisions. I will play what I want to play sometimes. You want to just do that? Yeah, let's let's just keep back attacking these suckers. Because that's working just about as well as right trigger. Hot potato on that guy. That way I'm not wasting souls here. Even though I'm always wasting souls. Let's be honest. Whee! I really like the fireproof heroes when I get them. But yeah. I... It's really weird. Frozen Bite always makes these, like, really wonderful inventive games. And it always feels like, uh, people just don't even notice. I guess it's because there's always something just mildly wrong with them. Okay, now we probably want the Spell Gambler. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, Midas Touch. Freeze the enemy. They die within six seconds. They'll drop extra gold. Interesting. That works. So here's the question. Do we burn a candle to get to a stamina camp? I probably should, but it's not that important. Ah. Just coins and candles. No element spell vendor. Okay, please be an interesting buff. Because if it's an interesting buff, that works really well on her. Uh, that's a charm. That charm's an enemy. Charms the target, causing it to fight for its uh, fight its allies for eight seconds. Yeah, that should work well-ish. But yeah, using a buff on a hero buffs your whole party. If I can, if I can get a uh, a spell for her. It works that way. Like, double strike? Oh, man. Well, key vendor's meaningless. Okay, empty and a common merchant. I think as you go through this, the, the shops get populated with more stuff. Oh, uh, I think the pipe's for him. Regenerate HP and faster spell recharge. But yeah, charm is, charm is real fun. Yeah, Trine was pretty successful back in the XNA era. Era. Well, the thing with uh, the thing with Trine is it was actually pretty successful. Trine one and two. I think Trine two is actually even more successful. I could be wrong. Uh, the main thing is just okay. Got him. Wow. That actually really is worth quite a lot. Okay, let's actually hot potato those guys. Because that'll do some serious harm to them. Okay. Double hit. Bring him in. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the guy in the back. Nope, I'm going to be able to get him. Get his stamina down by a bit. Okay. There we go. Set him up. Uh... 
do a little bit of damage. Because we'll just knock this guy back a little bit. Wow. Okay. I really got to pay way more attention to how much HP some of these guys have. Because he actually can just skunk him. Okay, how long until that? A little while yet. You go kill your friends. Ah. Let's see, 22. That should be perfect. Okay, start working on that guy. Yeah, I like the Midas Touch. I've actually never seen it before in this game. I, I'm pretty sure it's it's new. Or I just never had any luck at finding it. It honestly could be either. Okay, do we have a charm yet? No. Well... Let's pop double strike so we kill that thing. Get that out of there. Get him out of there. Uh, let's see. Charm that guy. Hot potato that guy. Now my entire team's on fire. Probably shouldn't have done that. But it doesn't actually do that much damage. Unless you're always doing that. And then it really sucks. Okay. A party-wide double strike. That would be terrifying. It actually gets mildly incon inconvenient here and there, but only here and there. Let's see. He doesn't do enough. But she will. There we go. We don't have too much. Pause for a second. Oh, I thought we uh, maxed out a spell. Maybe not? Oh. That sucks. Hot potato. Smack him. Kill him. Smack him in the butt. I think I got him. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't get any money out of it, unfortunately. Now, a couple months after the game dropped, there was an update that added a bunch of new spells and trinkets to the game. I think I did cover that. But only a little bit. Aha! The ghoul we were warned about. It's vanquishing time. And... This time. Oh, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, let's see. Question. How much HP these enemies have? 150. That's not too much. And there's also the weird statues. Which I think you just break. I don't remember if the weird statues had anything amazing. Nope, can't do anything with that. We gotta, we gotta kill Boner Squad here. Interesting question. Can I get him to destroy the statue for me? I can. Kill that guy. Bring him back through that. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't know how long uh, false LeChuck says stuns. So I should probably pay more attention to that. Okay. I might as well stunlock that guy a little bit. 
Let's see, he's getting real close. Might as well knock him back. Knock them both back. Because we can we can use the uh, we can use back attacks kind of to take out the the fountains. Let's see. There we kind of go. Well, so far so good. Yeah, I I really do feel like they they adjusted the difficulty curve on this. Because I don't remember this being this easy. But maybe it's not as easy as I thought it was. Oh. Oh boy. The one problem is we do have a bunch of gooners rolling around. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do that now. Damn! I actually had to, like, sit and watch that. Because that was actually impressive. Okay. I'm gonna hot potato that guy. I'm going to Midas touch that guy. Double hit so we get the kill for sure. Oh, crap. Okay, right now we just got to crowd control like crazy. Uh, that's not going to work, is it? I don't think... He yeah, he's not going to be able to do no enough damage, but that's okay. Because, yeah, there's a lot of leftover enemies from the previous phase, and that's rough. Not too rough, but... Okay. Make this guy turn around? Have them fight? Question mark? didn't get the ghost of Nightmare LeChuck. All I have to do is hit him. This one last time. There they go. The evil has been and this the usually unlocks a new character. The crystal. Shattering of the crystal caused tremors in the underworld. A soul was released. Suddenly, a bright light surrounded the heroes. The gatekeeper appeared then, smiling knowingly. A curse was lifted, and the soul was free. The heroes watched as the gates swung open, revealing a long-lost friend. Now we get the water bard. And a bunch of random uh, map events, some of which are pretty dang rad. Dang. I think one thing I didn't like about this game is the fact that you could only unlock one character per win, which means you have to win this like 20 something times, which is rough. My god. So, no, we have 81 
Total. Admittedly, they're all new enemy types that we're going to be running into as we go along, plus a bunch of spells. And a couple of items. Oh, hey! Right, water. Oh, and it even shows you, like, the different classes. So if you check heroes, you can see... Oh, sweet Jesus, this is going to take a while. Ugh. Because there are how many... how many heroes? Five, nine... Thirty... there's 36 heroes, so it's a lot more. 